prices have went up. That's right, prices have went up. Yesterday prices are definitely not today's prices. I'm gonna tell you a quick story. So I went to the neighbor town uh, fleet farm to grab a hay rack, similar to the ones that we bought our girls a few months ago. And to my surprise, the prices had doubled. And I was like, not today. Because just like big perm, I mean big worm, playing with my money, it's like playing with my emotion. But I maintain my composure and I stroll up about it there like DJ. Cause you know what? There has to be a cheaper way. And as I got into my car and I was driving off, I had a Eureka moment. And so I'm gonna go, go through this hay rack that I'm gonna build that I think will work and it's gonna work a lot better than the one I was gonna pay a lot of money for. And on top of that, most of the stuff is stuff I had at home. So I didn't have to spend very much money. Let's get over here to my makeshift work stand and I'll show you guys what we're working with. All right guys, so we're over here at my makeshift work stand. Um, kind of on my knees, so bear with me. Um, what you'll need for uh, this hay rack is more than likely stuff that any homesteader or farmer already have on their property. The first thing you're gonna need is a couple two by fours, cut at any size that you want. I cut mine here at 20 inches. Also, you'll need some construction fencing or you yeah, use this as well as, as a windbreak or snow break. So you'll need some of that. Um, I cut that to the same, same width. Next thing you'll need is a hook, a couple uh, utility handles, a drill, safety glasses, a pneumatic stapler, or if you don't have a pneumatic stapler, you can use a hand stapler, and a drill bit. That's about it. So let's get into this. I'm gonna show you guys what we're gonna be doing here. Uh, it's fairly simple. Um, once you see it, you'll be like, Ryan, that is ingenious. And I'm gonna say, I know, right? But anywho, let's get into it. All right, guys, so here we are. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take one of our two by fours and we're just gonna lay it down and we're going to fold it like so. Just follow along with me here. So once you fold it, you're gonna have it real snug so that the two by four fits snug here because this is where we're going to uh, screw in our handles. So you're gonna just drop. I like to fold it in inside here and just drop a staple in there as well. Got my trusty pliers because that staple didn't go all the way through. Pop another one in there. There we go. Now we're gonna flip it over and we're gonna do the exact same thing on the other side. All right guys, so we all finished here. I'm gonna give you guys a close up. Check it out. So, what's gonna happen here is we're gonna hang our hook. We're gonna put our hook, mount our hook on the wall, and then the hook and hang, the handles will hang on a hook, and the hay will sit in here, giving the goat access to eat the hay. Pretty much uh, this hay rack cost us about, I wanna say it was less than $6. So let's go hang it up and see how the ghosts like it. All right guys, as you can see that it's gold approved. 
Um, I went on and made a second one for the girls as well. Um, they enjoying their hay rack. If you guys got some use from this video, please make sure you hit that like button. Also, hit that bell notification. Share with a million friends or two. And subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one. Peace.